This is a little demonstration video of using the Behringer X-Touch Mini controller, this black box here, to control a Behringer XR16 digital audio mixer. There are three things to watch. One is the X-Touch Mini itself. The next is the X-Air application, which is made by Behringer. And this is really powerful, but quite intimidating. I've actually shrunk it down, but there's just loads of knobs and settings and all kinds of things. And then a WPF application, which I've written as a very simplified audio mixer for users who just want to control the volume and, some, and mute some channels. The aim is that the X-Touch Mini can work as a physical alternative to the WPF application. What I've got so far is only a prototype, but it's pretty close to what I want. The X-Touch Mini is plugged into my computer via USB and acts as a MIDI port. I've got a small console app, which listens for MIDI messages from the X-Touch Mini, then sends requests to the mixer over the network to tell it to change the volume of a channel or mute it. Likewise, the application listens for network messages from the mixer to say that the volume of a channel has changed or it's been muted, and it transmits MIDI messages back to the X-Touch Mini to change the light rings around the knobs or the lights on the buttons. The XAIR and WPF applications are just talking to the mixer over the network and use on-screen controls to, uh, to modify settings. Even though all three applications are running on the same computer, they're not aware of each other at all, and if they were running on different computers it would work just as well. So as a simple example, if I unmute the first channel using the X-Touch Mini, we can see it's unmuted on the XAIR as well and on the WPF application. The light on the X-Touch Mini comes on to show that the channel is live and then I can change the volume just by turning the knob and we can see that the two applications, both the sliders have gone up and will go down again if I turn it counterclockwise and the light ring on the X-Touch Mini shows the volume as well. Now channels three and four on this mixer happen to be a stereo pair and that means that any changes on one of these channels happens on both. We can see that if we unmute channel four on the X-Touch Mini, the light for channel three will come on as well and we'll suddenly hear some music that is just coming through there. And if we change the volume, we can see that both of the light rings change at the same time. Likewise, if we change the volume with the X-Air, or with the WPF application, you can see that the light rings change as well. So that's about it. There's not a huge amount to demonstrate because it's intended to be pretty simple. For details about what's going on behind the scenes, please read the blog post linked in the video description. Bye.